Hello friends, I just wanted to record a little informal video about um, just sharing just my thoughts lately and some of the designs that I have been doing for our cold climate eco home. So just shoveling some snow outside and remembering the temperature last week that reached minus 24 Celsius. <laughs> it's very cold. <laughs> you pour a kettle of boiling water and within a meter it turns to snow. It's it's that cold. <laughs> so we're just thinking about um, all our subscribers out there and everything I'm seeing on um, just being shared on social media, um, particularly the YT, that uh, you know we need to live like this and we need to live like this. Everybody's got all these thoughts and I was just realizing that when the temperature hits, let's say, minus 20, minus 30 Fahrenheit, then you somehow start to think different if your home is not warm and if you're just, just that basic need of warm home, I think, and fresh air, that's just... Um, and you know living food that all these things really influence how we think we may sit in the warm um, arizona and or uh, just australia or united kingdom or, or, or wherever and think of this is how life should be when the temperature hits negative 30 fahrenheit negative 20 fahrenheit negative 30 celsius you just really, really rethink everything and we're burning firewood right now because if we didn't, we would die. And we're burning a lot of firewood because we have a European fireplaces at the home that we bought and it's just plowing through two, three wheelbarrows of firewood a day, every single day, the two ovens. I'm burning a sauna outside and this is partially why I'm designing this particular Watsilarium ecological home for Colcom is because, you know, it will not use any firewood or maybe once a week you'll stoke it just to have a sauna and then all that heat will be stored in the, um, in the, in the battery and I'm obviously designing it as passive as possibly I can design it. Um, but because the amount of firewood that we're using will eat up a little forest, uh, a, a moderate sized forest in the lifetime of a home. So I want to invite you to come and come and check Russia out. So whenever you can just come and whatever you're hearing about it on the news is uh, I'm assuring you it's not true. It's a place where you do not have things coming to you on a platter, on a silver platter. But if you're prepared to take care of yourself and your own needs, this is the place to be. It's ridiculously cheap electricity. We're burning about, let's say two kilowatts an hour every hour for a month now, and we have burned $80 of electricity. That's two kilowatts, 24 hours for a month. Some of the other ridiculous things we are mentioning, you're not, we're not taxed. We, we, we're living in a village. There is a street lamp outside. <laughs> There's, like two neighbors in the whole village, everything else is rotten and decapitated, so there's nobody living here, and maybe one or two will come in summer. But be that as it may, we have a tractor coming and cleaning our road uh, when after a big snowstorm. That's awesome. We have a, a, um, a lamp outside, a street pole, which we're not paying for, and uh, we have electricity, which is ridiculously cheap. Sure, it's using nuclear and it's using coal and all those things that we don't like but it's cheap electricity and it's available and i'm able to light my face up right now for this video and charge this camera so without climbing into debt really rush is a place where you can live close to for free if you are prepared to you know you can get firewood the the round i don't know what they're called the round stumps that get delivered to you and if you're prepared, prepared to hammer it yourself six cubic meter truck will cost you about a hundred dollars and that can last your whole winter for a small home if you are if your oven is somewhat efficient and you know and your home is insulated so you, you're looking at a uh, hundred dollars to keep yourself warm the whole winter for one dollar you can get 70 packets of organic seeds these are some of the things that uh, you got to consider and and the city is nearby i've got 
15 minutes to drive to the station and there it's three hours to a megapolis like uh, St. Petersburg where you can get everything where I got the fittings for the water organizing module that I'm constructing um, based on the Earthship methodology which I'm putting into our abundance of water course if you don't have the, that course please do check it out because the water organizing module is going in there which is a pressurized autonomous off-grid water system with filtration included we have the biochar filter the water tanks underground water tanks and bunkers and a lot a lot more but check that course out it's it's an old course um, but every, if you if you really want to get serious and build yourself an off-grid water situation it's got everything in there in practicality and theory but practicality with mistakes is all there and now i'm constructing the watilarium off-grid autonomous home for really cold climate that's passive it's very much based on an earthship methodology but instead of dumping all that heat out of the geodesic greenhouse we're going to be storing it in the cell and i'm obviously trying to design it with as least fans as possible so this whole thing can be passive so that's the side view of the main unit so these are two scale drawings which are going to be scanned and used in the lessons and of course given to all the watelarium course participants so we also have a great telegram group where i'm putting all the research that i'm doing right now of the key elements of compost heaters so i'm finding the best people in the field and either interviewing them or watching their videos i am having a one-on-one -on -one consultation with mike reynolds it's actually for the, it's the second consultation i'm having with him just half an hour but just to get a few key questions out of the way about the earthship methodology for really cold climate because we have the high water table which is a meter below me so the water so we don't need massive water storage because you dig a little hole you got water you know if you have that water we're drinking that water straight but if you have that water filtered man you you're good to go so there's no reason to have a uh, 10,000 gallon water storage if you have water uh, three feet under your um under your feet <laughs> and um so it's a slightly different methodology and i'm including very clever sauna with an aquaculture system the uh, the, the the heating device here for the hot compost that will basically give us the warmth in the winter months when there is no sun and november january and february uh, so far we have had um five days of sun and the rest is just uh, the sun comes up at 11 goes down at four and and i don't see it because it's all gray so these are some of the um negatives we can say but that's why all of the tunnels that are going to be based on earthship methodology which is the greenhouses are going to be warmed up and going to be lush jungle so you can enjoy that lush <laughs> climate just right outside your window so very important because you know because we have winter for five to six months of the year you gotta have greenery you gotta have those plants you gotta have those microgreens have your own fish and be fully self-sufficient so should you be cut off and should one of these units be standing on top of the mountain you have no access to any roads or your road is covered by snow you're able to survive and thrive and this is the, the thinking behind it and you can build it in stages so you build the geodesic dome a full geodesic dome you build it as it is and or yurt uh, a yurt eventually goes here on top of the roof yeah flat roof here um, or a geodesic dome for example you dismantle then a part of it after you've lived in it once you, you build this unit the center unit then you dismantle part of your geodesic dome and off it goes there it is there is the geodesic dome. It, it, it's, it's, it's a quarter a sphere. It just adds on to the greenhouse. As a greenhouse, so it adds on to the house. So you can live, build it modular, step by step, without climbing into debt. This is the whole thinking behind it. It's the house I've been developing for uh, since 2007, since I ever visited the fly, Flying Concrete Workshop in Mexico. But, you know, I'm not going to rattle on too much on this. Check out the link please do support me i'm putting all the money into r d and actually building this unit which i will be teaching you step by step of the way on how to construct it and some of the mistakes i make it will be all in the course but obviously i'm trying to make the least amount of mistakes because once you cover these pipes 
um, with machine, you know, a machine will come, then, you know, digging them out by hand will be a great mission. So I'm really doing a lot of research. So please, I welcome you to check out the Watellarium course. It's not ready yet, although the first theory lesson will come out in this month in February, which I'm going to be explaining the air movement of the dwelling and how the, obviously the thermal dynamics, the uh, laws of physics and all of that that goes into place to make this thing as passive as possible. So it just runs by itself. So if electricity ever cuts off, this home will not freeze and you will be feeling, feeling comfortable and your plants will feel comfortable in it. And um, so the theory lessons will be posted. I've also studied in the Earthship Academy. So the next lesson will be water and you will learn all about the entire water system. I have already presented a water lesson in our abundance of water course and I'll just flesh it out exactly to this home. And you can see the drawing on the screen. And of, then we'll just go through everything, the foundation, the climate, the uh, biogeometry where we're going to be testing with pendulums and I'll be sharing some of the biogeometry key methodology that I've learned from Ibrahim Karim so you don't place your bedroom on the, let's say where your bed is going to be on the geopathic stress zone, <clears throat> you know, all of that stuff and if you do have a geopathic stress zone, how do you mitigate it with BG3, high harmonic of gold, high harmonic of ultraviolet and uh, negative green carrier wave energy which is all described by Ibrahim Karim. Check it out by geometry. So theory lessons we're posting throughout the year, one quality lesson per year, uh, per month <laughs> and then the rest will come after summer once I, you know, build this thing, the summer. I've decided to cancel the workshop because the home is so intricate and so complex that to try and cram it in a three week workshop will be one way ticket to disaster because you know forgetting a pipe here or that so I'm gonna go slow and steady and really think every single step through so because I'm recording it at the same time so you have a high quality course and I don't have a, a frantic situation of uh, trying to cram something with 20 students in three weeks because that would be insanity. It's not a simple dome for Thailand like we build in Nepal. It's not a dome for Africa. It's not a little acrete uh, bubble for Mexico, you know, and uh, these all the masters have learned from. Uh, it's, 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 it's not an earthship even. It's based on an earthship methodology, but it's taking earthship to a whole new level. It's an earthship without winter sun. That's based on sacred geometry, hence the Vesica Pisces 1 to 1.618. And I want you to check out the course. Pre-purchase price is $150 until the end of February. Then the price goes to $200 and slowly climbing to $600 by the end of the year. And then that will stay there because the course will be of that quality. The Earthship Academy I bought was online. I paid $1,000 for it. The course will be of that value if not better, because I'm going to be taking all of that wisdom and incorporating with all the wisdom I learned in Africa and all the practicalities. And I speak of mistakes and mistakes are very important because no one I hear on like the Earthship Academy, they don't speak of mistakes. They don't even describe that the water organizing module that you, you do this or you do that. And then it makes a slight twist. And then if you glue the PVC pipes and, and then it's off by a certain angle, then uh, you have to break a pipe. I explain all these things because as I go through it, I'm like, oh shit, that what happened. I, that, you know, guys watch out for that. So the course, the old course is laden with all of those mistakes. Um, which I describe how to avoid in this actually a mistakes improvement section on every single module. If you would like, you can get the old abundance of water and the dome course, as well as the watellarium for $200. Just email me, transfer that money through, send me a proof of payment and I'll sign you up for the abundance of water, the eco dome, and I'll pre-purchase, sign you up for this course when it comes out. So I look forward to be seeing you one day in Russia at our workshop when we're going to be building version two of this and which I'm hoping will be 2022 next year and um, if you would like to come and volunteer it's actually not going to be called the volunteering it's going to be more um, 
maybe two or three people coming and we're just building together and whatever phase we're in we're going to be building one stage at a time so you can find out what stages i'm in or what stages you're interested in maybe some of you would just like to come for a foundation and set up this pipe work with me um and not you know obviously you'll have the online training for the rest of the stuff but if you want the practicality of setting just a foundation what happens below the ground and um, in the berm then you'll just come for that section and you know i'll let you know when i'll be doing that so it's not a volunteering it's still a paid session but it will and i'll still be teaching you who was relates to what we're building but you know it will be also a brainstorming session but it won't be a start to finish workshop like for example in an earthship academy where you get to build the whole home from start to finish in one go in in four weeks it will be that in next year or the year after that but for now this year i'm going to be going slow and steady and i'm going to be doing one section at a time going from ground up so you come and you build with me and you get involved in whatever process i'm involved in the time and you get to see the Russia, you get to see the Russian villages, you get to explore, you get to feel the land and see if that's the place where you want to be. And um, you can come for as long as you want and when you want. And I'll be building from March to November. So you're all welcome. Until then, have a fantastic year, have a fantastic week. Namaste.